See those two pins, Stacy? Yes. Well, today mm -hmm. I'm going to stick them in you. Will it hurt? Well, no, I'm not really going to put them in you. I'm just going to touch your skin with them because you and I are going to investigate the sense of touch over various parts of your body. What do you mean? Well, you know, some parts of your body are more sensitive to touch than others. Yes. Well, let's start with the beginning. Here, come over here. Okay. Because what I'm going to do is touch you in the forehead with these two pins uh, held some distance apart. So you have them uh, yes. pasted onto a ruler that I can move one pin. So I'll touch you and you'll feel two. Then I'll move it a little closer and closer and closer until you only feel one. Okay. Then we'll read the distance, okay? Start with your forehead. Two. Two. One. <clears throat> a centimeter and a half. Yeah, that's, uh, well... Fifteen millimeters. Fifteen millimeters. Let's do it in millimeters. Okay. So right down here, see where it says G and M? Yes. Here's a pen. Put down under the M, 15. Because that's the measurement. That's what the M stands for. Okay. We didn't have you guess the first one. Okay, now using that as a sort of standard, we'll go through the rest of your body, and I want you to guess ahead of time uh, uh, how sensitive they'll be. Now, just so you'll understand, when I touch you with, with these two pins and you only feel one, it means one of them is touching this sensory cell that is, a, that is a, uh, especially attuned to touch. And okay. they at various distances around your body. If I hold them real far apart, it means, and you feel only one, it means one of these is only touching it and the other one is not. And when I get it closer, and you still feel two, and finally get away, get I went way down here, that means that one of them is only touching it, but the other one must not be very far away. So the lower the number, the more sensitive that part of your body. Right. So if the forehead is a 15, that's our standard, what do you think lips will be? Well, I think that lips would be more sensitive than the forehead, so mm -hmm. I'm going to say three. Okay. And I think tongue is really sensitive, so I'm going to say one. And arm wouldn't be sensitive, I'll say 10. And palm, I'm going to say 12. Finger, 5. Thumb, 6. Okay. Hang on to that because okay. I want you to write them down as we go along. So first, let's check, check your lips. Okay. okay. I'll start about here. Two. 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 One. Hey. Really oh, close. Yeah. Huh. What did you guess? Three. And what did you find? Two. That's very close. So your guess was very good there. Now your tongue. Okay. Two. Two, two, one, two again. Two again. Okay, now arm. Um, you want to roll up your sleeve there? Okay. I'll start way out here. Two, 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 one. Oh, almost three. Yes. No, three. Thirty. Okay. Thirty millimeters. You were reading three mil yeah, three centimeters. Two centimeters. Right? Okay. Well, that wasn't so uh, hot. You thought your arm was more sensitive than yes, it really is. Yes, I did. Okay. Now your palm. Okay. You said what? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. I'll start at about fifty. Two. 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 One. Oh no. Twenty. Your finger? Yeah, five this time. You said five? Yeah. I'll start at 15. Okay. Two, 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 one. Oh. Oh, about four. Yeah, very good, very close. And finally, Seven. your thumb, you said six. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah. Two, 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 one. 
two, 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 one. Four again. So which is the most sensitive part of the body that we tested? Well, it's tied between the lips and the tongue. Actually, I think if you did more careful measurements, your tongue would be more sensitive.